Hi everyone, welcome to you all in my YouTube channel and today we are going to discuss about one of the most beautiful and one of the most richest country in Asia and about this video I received 16 uh, the comments and uh, I mean they are requesting for about explore this country what are the opportunities for pharmacists in this country and um, uh, as I said this is one of the richest country in Asia so and uh, many of the Indians are working here not Indian I'm in the around the world for this country because this is one of the high paid for the professionals so we are going to talk about Singapore Singapore is a very small country you know as compared to the other country it's just like a one city is like like in New Delhi you know uh, I mean in less than that uh, we can say but the singapore currency and uh, the, the things is there all the companies in the world those are working in asian countries they have their headquarter in singapore so and uh, their currency is very high the, the skill they paid very high and uh, so we will explore today the opportunities for pharmacists and how much they can expenses there and uh, there is some opportunities there or not and how much salary and the lifestyle and all these we will discuss in this video so let's begin please subscribe this channel i already uploaded 200 plus videos about pharmacist jobs in abroad each and every country i already uploaded like two to three three uh, videos uh, wherever the possible wherever the there is some scope for pharmacists in the world and i, I just started a paid consultancy uh, for example what is the course for you is the best which country is best for you how you can go there and all these so this is my number you can whatsapp me and uh, subscribe this channel for get more if you are from a foreign uh, trained pharmacy graduate or pharmacist it means you are not uh, study in singapore you are from apart from singapore you are from any other country and you want to work as a pharmacist in singapore so there is some uh, 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 conditions they give the singapore pharmacy council the applicant must be graduate with a university uh, degree accepted by singapore pharmacy council you know singapore pharmacy council already keep the country uh, list of the country and that particular country have that the, some of the institute some of the university so if you are graduate that particular institute then you can be a registered pharmacist in singapore you can work as a pharmacist in singapore and another um, the requirement is here you must be a graduate from uh, 1st august 2020 before that if you are graduate after that you cannot be a registered pharmacist in singapore and secondly a second requirement that the applicant must have required the prescribed training so you must acquire the prescribed training that particularly in your country that is required for example in india if you want to uh, work as a pharmacist if you are doing pharmd pharmd 5 plus 1 five years uh, uh, i mean the study and one year internship that is a requirement and uh, if you are from uh, malaysia for example you would you, you have to do four year b form and one year internship that is a mandatory so, and you will be a registered pharmacist you are a registered pharmacist one of the council one of the state and you are working in india any of the country wherever you are working so you are uh, eligible your degree you finish plus that particular requirement for registration as pharmacy and you are registered in pharmacy that particular state then you are eligible to apply for SPC uh, for the uh, I mean Singapore Pharmacy Council is short form for the SPC then uh, what are the, what are the uh, 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 document you require to submit it first you have to require that the original basic pharmacy qualification transcript for example you did B form or Form D you need to be a transcript and that transcript has to send by your university direct to the Singapore Pharmacy Council so the person cannot send directly that university has to send the that pharmacy council and send uh, saying for the letter for verification I mean that the very verified yes you finished uh, this degree from this university or something then directly there is a need of a original uh, certificate of good uh, standing I mean we can say like a 
correct a certificate that has to be directly submitted from a foreign registration authority i mean you are registered pharmacist in new delhi for example so that pharmacy council of new delhi they have to send a the directly to the singapore pharmacy council that he has, he is registered pharmacist with us and he have a good um, as a correct certificate or something like this then you have to be submit other of the scanned copy of personal identif identification document for example your passport and scan um, copy of certificate recognition i mean what are the uh, you did your qualification your experience whatever you can be submitted uh, to, to that uh, i mean as a, as a evidence all, all this and uh, then all this you have to send a singapore pharmacy council and that uh, i'm already given this link to the uh, in my description you you can go that that link and you can have a um, the the things you know, all all other things and uh, in yearly there's a four five times uh, they are offering uh, this training why you have to go for pre registration training for 3 to 6 month in any of the community pharmacy in hospital or something so uh, there is a fee is about 300 uh, singapore dollar um, uh, the important here we are going to discuss here what are the universities what are the countries they are registered they are i mean um, they are saying you can register in singapore as a pharmacist so uh, we are going to we here so list of overseas pharmacy qualification for registration from 1st august 2020 you know 1st august 2020 if you are going to apply for this you can be a, if you are from australia in australia they approve eight universities for example curtin university griffith university monash university newcastle university university of south australia university of sydney i am from university of sydney and uh, um, university of western australia so these are the eight universities if you are uh, graduate any of this university you can be a registered pharmacist in singapore the six universities from canada if you are from canada these are the six universities uh, university of alberta university of british columbia uh, and uh, Uh, Dalhousie University and um, the University of Manitoba and uh, University of Saskatchewan. Uh, <laughs> the name is the pronunciation. University of Toronto. Or uh, maybe the if you are from Ireland, then you can be a registered pharmacist in Singapore. So you must be graduate from Trinity College uh, Dublin or University of Dublin. We can say. Or if you are from Malaysia. as you know i was a lecturer in malaysia for 4 years so i know the the things in malaysia so i was a lecturer for pharmacy practice and clinic of pharmacy i teach there for 4 years so in malaysia is about 22 universities are offering pharmacy program but here in singapore they are only approved one university that is called usm university sense malaysia if you are graduate from usa you can be a registered pharmacist in singapore if you are from any other university if you graduate then you cannot be a registered pharmacist in singapore you know so you can see the thing you know how much they are choosy they choose the university that the usm is the first university in Aust uh, in um, as in malaysia they offer pharmacy education the oldest pharmacy school in usm you know so they just offered one school only the other, other if you are from any other university you are not eligible you know same for new zealand they offering if you are graduate from auckland university of auckland or you are graduate from university of otago you can be a registered pharmacist in singapore then uk they are university of um, um uh, aston in Birmingham or University of Bath or University of Bradford <laughs> Cardiff University or University of East Anglia and um, King's College London and uh, University of London or University of Manchester and uh, University of Nottingham um, University of uh, uh, Queen's uh, University University of uh, Belfast or uh, Robert uh, Gordon University or uh, I mean, these universities are approved from UK, and there are there are 31 university or from US as well, 31. So, if you are graduate this university, then only you can work as a pharmacist in Singapore. So, simply in Singapore, 
you cannot work as a pharmacist in Singapore if you are from India, Pakistan, those are third world countries, they are not approving your qualification to be a registered pharmacist, you know. And there is a, another thing that the, in Singapore there is a university called NUS that is comes under the top 20 universities. So their standard is very, very high. That's why they choose from around the world the top university. If you are graduate those universities, then only you can work as a pharmacist in Singapore. And another important here, earlier they approved some university from India as well and Pakistan something like University of Karachi or something and uh, BHU from India and uh, Nagpur University from India something like this. But now they are not everything. So simply if you are from developed country, US, UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand and Ireland and Malaysia then you can work as a pharmacist in Singapore and apart from this you, no, no one can work as a pharmacist in Singapore you know but Singapore if you want to work as a industrial pharmacist you want to work in the industry you can work as in the clinical research you can work in the medical writer you can work as a pharmacovigilance so in this uh, profession there is no need for registered pharmacy so you, there is no need for you are be must be registered you can work as a uh, in, in the company if someone is hiring you you know but if you want to work as a pharmacist in hospital and community pharmacy then you must be a registered pharmacist and these they are not approving your qualifications so these are the uh, the things about the Singapore because many of you are requesting that's why I made this video because and I hope you like this video and thank you for watching this